Good morning, everyone, from my new bathroom. This genuinely still feels like a vacation, but hi. Welcome back to another vlog. It is about just before 8 a.m. We got up this morning. We took like a nice little walk around the neighborhood. We walked Layla for like probably, I don't know, half a mile or so. She was definitely very tired at the end of it, so she's resting now honestly it was probably more like a mile but we're trying to get her you know her poor little legs some exercise anyways and then we walked to get some coffee and the coffee was not good so we threw it in the trash and went to starbucks but i wanted to say a big a long pitch with fills yeah <laughs> Worst coffee I've ever had in my life. And I'm not, had, I'm not a coffee snob. I'm no. Not I've had pills before and it was really good, but this coffee tasted like water. It was so weird. We should have just like, I don't know. I can't say something. I just can't. Well, she, she was like, Brianna, yeah, let me know if you have any adjustments. Adjustments. I was like, yeah, can you make it with can coffee? You, can you? <laughs> Can you throw it away? Sorry, I'm being <laughs> crazy. You're just being funny. Sorry to anyone who works at Phil's, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you guys make great coffee. No hate to the Phil's community. But anyways, I'm trying to use the mirror on the other side of there. It's like our first full day of living here. And last night was kind of chaotic. The movers didn't get here till like 7. They didn't leave till like 8 or 8.30. So this hat look is really good for me. So it was just kind of like a late night and then we had to like find the boxes that had our laundry detergent in it so that we could wash our sheets and we were just like waiting for our sheets to dry and stuff. But we got like showered up, we've got nice fresh sheets on the bed and we're ready to go. The animals slept great through the night. We slept okay. It's always like weird being in a new space. So far, oh we did meet the upstairs neighbor. It's not an older guy, it's a young guy. But he's super nice. You said he's really nice, right? Yeah, I think he said his name. Well, I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah. Yeah, he, he might be our age or just a little bit older. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that as long as he's not, you know, 18 and partying. And it was a Saturday night and like we, we heard, you know, steps, like normal stuff. It was very tolerable. So let's just keep that energy moving forward. It's just been great. It's been great so far. So yeah, we're gonna run to Target. We need to get some cleaning supplies. We need to get a new mop because our other one was disgusting and it also was like kind of broken. So we need to get a new mop. Just random things like we need more hand soap and more cleaning supplies. We need some magic erasers. This place is pretty dirty. Um, I don't know if it translates on camera, but we definitely need to do like a deep clean. So yeah. That's kind of what's on the agenda for us. Remember what before wrote on the fridge? <laughs> they like wrote all of their notes from like being on the phone on the fridge. Like, I think in Sharpie, it's definitely not dry erase because it's not coming off. I'm hoping that magic eraser will get it off. Yeah. So it's like, call Bethany. <laughs> Yeah. The mirror is behind, like you're on the shelf in my medicine cabinet. It's like the olden days of you putting your makeup or YouTube. Are you doing that? <laughs> Drew has seen, first of all, Drew was like one of the first people I told that I had a YouTube channel, like way back in like 2012 or something. So when I like showed him my old videos, he was dying laughing because I used to get like, I used to film on my iPhone and I would film like beauty tutorials, but I would use my iPhone as like the mirror. So <laughs> anyways, he will never let me live that down. So, okay, let's go to Target. And oh yeah, I guess I'll like show you around. <laughs> okay, so quick overview. Here is the bathroom. We still have a lot of work to do. We bathed all of our plants cause you know, they had a long journey. So we'll hang those up at various points today. I think we just have this one box of stuff but we're gonna split it up between the two bathrooms because I'm gonna keep the majority of my stuff in this bathroom and Drew's gonna keep the majority of his stuff in the other bathroom just for like storage reasons. But yeah, here's where we're at with the bathroom. And then let's see, what else do we have here? We're gonna hang up these coats and like crew necks and stuff in this closet that has the AC vent, but that's fine. Here is the current state of our bedroom. It kind of looks similar to our old bedroom, but just more boxes and less closet space, but still decent amount. So yeah, we're gonna like put away our clothes today, hopefully, and get it all cute in here. Here is the status of the living room. Layla is not dead, she just looks like it. <laughs> She's enjoying her little sunny spot. Look at this morning light. So gorgeous, we're gonna have to figure out like the configuration of the couches and stuff, but so pretty. And then we have my little like filming area here, so we're gonna figure this out 
probably last like this isn't a huge priority we're gonna like switch out the curtains to our own curtains and stuff and then like i'll try to set up my new filming area in here and then the kitchen is just kind of sad like we don't we're not gonna talk about that so we need to like get some cleaning stuff and get like a real deep clean of this place before we even get started so yeah let's do that first oh that was the other thing i forgot to say earlier i was gonna say it and then drew came in but um these coffees were courtesy of my friend maddie wilson that was so sweet she texted me a starbucks gift card yesterday and was just like hey moving is stressful just like wanted to send you a little gift and it was really really sweet so thank you so much maddie that was i forgot to even say that went to phil's the coffee was trash we literally threw it away and then walked by a starbucks so anyways this is delicious love it don't mind the plastic but i was gonna show you a quick OOTD. I'm wearing this Girlfriend Collective like unitard for the first time. I've had this for like two years and I've never worn it. So I figured why not? I threw a little flannel around the waist because it is kind of chilly this morning. My hat is from Poshmark. This flannel is from like a mystery thrift box. My slides, I honestly don't remember where they're from. So this is quite the look, but this is moving attire. So whatever. <laughs> That's your house. I was just about to say that. All right, we're back from Target. I thought I would show you a little Target haul because I always love watching these. First thing we got was this bright room it's a toilet paper holder but i had never seen this brand at target before and this is so cute and we realized when we got here yesterday that there's nowhere to put the toilet paper so you can put like the extra rolls here and then just like a classic white moment we got some prosecco obviously we got actually like three bottles of wine just to like have for around the house so got some prosecco do you like my hair Yes, Karen! I took my hat off. <laughs> we got these Swiffer. We got a refill for like our Swiffer wet jet. It's heavy duty because these floors are really bad. We got a couple of like um, power strip situations because the it's an old apartment. So like outlet space is limited. So we got this for the kitchen so we can give ourselves some more um, outlet space. And then this for our bedroom because we actually only have one outlet that has like two plugs so we're gonna do like one of the smaller power strips on my side smaller on drew's side that's what we did in our old la apartment for we got a new dish brush because we were in need of a new one we got a plunger very glamorous here she is this is the only time i will ever touch this with my hands you got this. oh I'm yeah we got a, a huge outdoor water dish for layla and it has like some grips on the bottom so for her outdoor leisurely time. And then another wine we got was the Apothic Dark. This is like a classic. This was like me and you in 2017. We got some more soap dispensers um, for our bathrooms. These are cute and they have like a little pump like that. They're just clear, really basic and simple. I got some yogurt. These are my favorite for breakfast. They have 15 grams of protein, so they're like really filling, so I like those. I need to clean this fridge. We got these because we tried them at our friend Bruce's house like a month or so ago, and they were really good. So it's the brand Two Chicks, and it's a sparkling vodka fizz. The flavor is elderflower and pear, and it's really good. Drew really liked it, so we got a couple of those. And then we also got some more magic erasers. We're gonna try to get rid of this <laughs> writing on the fridge. We got some lint rollers these are for us but mostly for like guests when they come over because we have two very hairy animals we got some drano just to have you can never go wrong with drano we got a soap refill for like all the soap dispensers and then i got some of my little floss pick things i use these every single day and that's our target haul so yeah first before we like start unpacking anymore we just need to clean like there's so much cleaning that needs to be done so that's what we're doing It is now 2.26 p.m. and with the exception of, you know, a little nap break, we have 
officially finished the kitchen. There's definitely like improvements we could make. That's gonna go. This is kind of like tentative. This is like a bar cart station. We have Layla's food station. We have our little coffee station. We need to do some dishes. We got all of our cleaning products unpacked. We cleaned this entire kitchen as you saw. Or maybe I didn't show anything, I'm not sure. We cleaned off everything. We mopped the floors. We cleaned out the entire fridge. Drew scrubbed every single shelf and little like hanging thing. And then we have this counter. Our ring camera is currently charging, but we have like a little speaker and then our toaster. We organized all of our dishes and glasses and everything has a place now, thank goodness. We cut out like little liners for the shelves. We've been busy. This apartment has like a very strange outlet right above the kitchen sink. So what we think we're gonna do is just put like a ceiling hook in right there and then have a hanging plant down so it covers that. Next, we are gonna tackle the living room because it's in shambles and we have no idea what we're doing with it. So figure it out with us. So one of the issues with having an older apartment is that there's it's just quirky and weird and like I love it, but it's just a time so basically we're trying to configure where we're gonna put the tv because there are only like two outlets in this whole living room mostly the outlets are right here we'll flip this and have this be like a corner there's also an outlet here yeah but that's like too close to like but we could have i mean but then the tv would be blocking the window so that's we have it yeah. in some corners and we okay yeah I, oh. This is gonna be weird. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got this. It was weird at our old place too, and we figured it out. So here we go. We need to brainstorm. <laughs> want the desk right there or the that's gonna be like our makeshift tv stand for right now but it covers where we get our mail so we can't do that and also it's really close to the door so okay scrap that that just took us 20 minutes anyways okay bye morning everyone it has been a couple of days um i just needed some time <laughs> i needed to be able to just move and not worry about creating content around my move if that makes sense like I, i'm sure you understand but it just got a little too stressful trying to figure out what we were doing with this entire house and then also like document that so we are mostly entirely moved in and today is a tuesday drew has today off and we have taken full advantage we went for a hot girl walk this morning we got a coffee we walked around the neighborhood got showered got dressed i did my hair with i bought the dyson air wrap like a month or so ago and i've only used it a couple times i'm still kind of like working on it but this is what i came up with and now we are going to head out to the mall drew needs some new clothes so we're gonna look for some clothes for him and just kind of like have a day where we vibe and chill. The animals are doing great. They're both really happy. Layla is settling in nicely. Moo is absolutely chilling. Do you like your little patches of sunlight? Yeah, you look like an angel. We've got some laundry going, we have the dishes going, and yeah, we're just like finally feeling more like home. We're having to figure out some AC issues. It works, but there's definitely like some kind of blockage or something like that, so we're working on that. But yeah, I thought I would show you my outfit of the day before we go out. Don't mind Moo laying on it. <laughs> his little sunny patch but i went for an entirely thrifted besides my shoes outfit of the day and i love this look so this white tee i got on poshmark i think it's from the brand arizona jean co and then these little like overall thingies i thrifted i think maybe when i was with alexa last or did i get them before that i think i did get them that day and they're just like so loose and comfy and i definitely could have ironed them because the pockets are like bulging but that's okay it's so cute such a cute like summery outfit and then my sandals are from doc martens honestly I cannot recommend these enough. Like I know that I've talked about how uncomfortable like the regular docs are, but I bought these sandals like probably a year ago and I have worn them nonstop. They've never given me blisters. They're the most comfy sandals I own. I think these are called the Voss sandals. I'll link them down below, but honestly, so comfortable. And this is my little outfit of the day. So let's go shopping. <music> Thank you. 
You'll have to forgive the sound of the fan because our air conditioner is broken um, and it's not working and it just keeps getting hotter in here, but we're, we reached out to the landlord. So hopefully he'll get back to us ASAP. We stopped at a little place in the mall called Italy and uh, it's like super popular. I had never been there though. Drew had been there before, but I wanted to show you a little haul of what we got for dinner. First thing we got, and yes, we've like done Trader Joe's hauls, we've done all of that stuff, and I just simply couldn't be bothered to vlog, I'm so sorry. But, we're back. Got two lemons. One of which is a pink lemon. Yeah, I want to try that, like a cute little cocktail or something. Oh, we got something to put that in. Oh, we got something. We also got a bottle of limoncello. This looks amazing. So we're very excited to drink some of this tonight, maybe make some lemon drops with it or something. We also got some fresh pasta. I'm gonna open it just so you can see it. I'll try to be quick because our refrigerator is open, but also it's hot in here and that feels good. <laughs> we got some fresh spaghetti. That looks absolutely insane. We're making eggplant parmesan tonight. We also got some grana padano, you know, cheese to grate over our eggplant parm. And we got some tomato basil sauce. This is by the brand Solo Pomodoro Muti. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Oh, it's good. I hope it's good too. It's like $7. Is that all we got? Oh, yeah, you want to show your haul? You got that bag right there. Oh yeah, I got a tote bag. Here's one of the tote bags we got at a store called Typo. Super cute. We were in need of some more tote bags, like actual totes, not just grocery bags. We also got one that has mushrooms on it. Um, how cute is that? Adorable. Am I doing your haul for you? Yeah. Oh. You got a Tom and Jerry tank top. A shirt, a button-up shirt with mushrooms on it. Some linen pants, cool. some slacks. Yeah, I like the slacks. Yeah, the slacks are your fave. We got a collared shirt, but like there's no collar type of thing. And a summer dad shirt. Okay. There's the haul. That's what we got. So we're gonna wait for our landlord to hopefully get back to us. Oh, and the next time we see you, I do pray that we have working air conditioning because it's hot and I mostly feel bad for the animals. It's only like 76 in here, 77, but it's it's like palpable. And all of the air that's coming out of the vents is just air. just air, it's not cold air. So anyways, thanks for being here and hanging out with us on this moving journey. The next vlog, I will show you like an update of what we've done with the house, where we put things, where everything is, and show you like a furnished apartment tour for the most part. And we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye. See ya.